Hey, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's still morning time here in sunny California. I need to get out. I need to get out on the beach, grab my surfboard, just go, you know, dude. So I just wanted to catch up a little bit on the news. The last show I did was live with Debbie. Obviously, this is not live. Here's some of the things that struck me particularly this last week. So as the Republican Congress is putting in their committee assignments and things like that, one of the things that struck me was somebody saying that this, this congressional house is just shoveling paranoia and distortion into the news stream. That's all they want to do. They're based on fear. Meanwhile, the Democrats are kind of sitting back and going, look what we did the last two years. And one of the things that I read that was really cool was that since Reagan, he's top down trickle, nom, trickle economics, trickle down economics, Biden is saying, no, 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 no. We are going to build up from the bottom to the top. So wages have increased. Yeah, I know. Inflation has increased too. There's, it, it's a worldwide problem. But let's just look at how successful Biden's agenda is going to be this building from the bottom to the middle class and on up. And he's done some pretty impressive, um, oh, I just moved Andrea's cards and I go, you should probably use her cards. Let's see what I get with mine first. I may have to, I may have to switch. Um, maybe I'll do both. So, Joe Biden's bottom up, which matches a lot of what the astrology that I'm watching says, that we're switching from top down to bottom up, more community-based, more working together for the good of the whole. Now, because we have this craziness where it's all about let's, let's get sound bites in the news, is Joe Biden's economic policy resonating with all Americans? Are they feeling it? Are they seeing it? Are they listening to what his policies are actually doing for the lower and middle class? And now I know I should include the upper class, the upper rich class, you know, those with Lamborghinis and big ass yachts, but I'm not gonna. Leaves me out. Is Joe Biden's economic policy resonating with the majority of Americans? Let me, ah, this light is so dang bright. I'm sorry. It, there we go. Yeah, where's my camera? There it is. So yes, world card, yes. <laughs> Being crossed by judgment. I, I'm telling you, there is a whole new way of looking at our economy and um, our ability to, to have an equitable life where it's just not money that is so important. Yes. 
two of cups. I don't need to. I just said, I don't need to use Andrea's cards. And then I get this. Oh, there's some kind of secrets that we're not here in. The top of the reading. Uh, dang it. Illusion, delusion. And in the potential near future, four swords. They're not getting it. It's there, but they're not seeing it. Let me drop this down so y'all can see. I got so much going on on my table. I got this big table and I got too much stuff on it. Here we go. Okay, can y'all see this? So Joe Biden's policies, yes, time has come. This, this time has come. We have judgment. This is the right thing to do. Cups, two of cups. Um, we're, he's bringing people together, but there's a little hiddenness um, with this high priestess. Uh, people aren't really getting the news and people really aren't getting the news. But if they just like chill, they may. This is a, a retreat card too. So um, let's just see where this goes. Cause I'm not sure um, in this deck, this is all about, let's just get quiet. I mean, we're not out of the woods at all. We're not out of these storm clouds. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I should have paused that. I'm sorry. Um, let's keep going. Internally, how are people feeling internally about Joe Biden's? Whoa, that's good. The Knight of Chalices. So, I mean, if I was that guy, I'd be feeling pretty good about myself. Check me out, ripped and all. Um, but it's still a wild ride. And that's what this is. That's what this is. I mean, they're not really, I mean, because inflation is so high, right? I mean, when you look at the price of eggs, you look at, at gas is finally coming down. Yay. Um, but th there's also something in the world that, uh, that is not helping Joe Biden's economic plan. So it's going to be a little bit of a wild ride internally, even though wages are rising for a lot of lower cap class, middle class, it's barely keeping up with inflation. So at least according to some reports, some people may disagree. Externally, two of wands. And again, I like this guy that he has the, um, the world in his hand. There needs to be a, a decision made with this two of wands. Do we want to continue with top-down economics or do we want to create a new world where it goes back to community, where we build the economy from the bottom up? The hopes and fears. Joe, be a magician. Joe. Or is this the slippery magician, the orange menace, rearing his Facebook, Twitter head again? Oh, my God, I can't believe they're even letting him in there. And the final outcome, will Joe, or are the people feeling, recognizing Joe Biden's accomplishments? Wow, I should have looked at that before, but I didn't. Yes, son. It's this, it's the illumination, the sword of truth. Yes, yes, yes. So this magician card follows this. This magician card is going to clear up. Look, nothing in my hand. And it's kind of like the shell game with the three cups that you play in New York City. Um, I don't know why I said that, but I did. Um, but these cups, this magician is going to illuminate what's in these cups. And it's all about giving and receiving. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and this deck, it's not being stabbed in, in the back, but it's walking away 
from these bad policies of trickle down. And when I think of Reagan, so yeah, they are going to get it, but it's not without, I mean, we are going to get it. I keep saying they as if I'm not part of it. Just because I have seven Lamborghinis doesn't mean I can't benefit from this. So I'll lift this up. Um, there we go. So it, it is not without its struggles, this new way of looking at the economy. It, it does have, it does have this, this, and this normally this four of swords ener energy. Um, in other decks, it, it's like complete and utter uh, downfall. It's a sickness, it, which I think this top-down economics is a sickness. And when I when I think about this, and when I think about the Reagan era, and then I go to I've got a hair in my mouth. When I go to the gun violence that we're seeing. And Debbie and I talked about this a little bit. And I'm like, you know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Pray, pray. And here's what I want to pray on. Pray that we get mental health back to a, a, a national conversation and a national policy on it. We got a lot of people that are really, really struggling. And... They're not, it's not being addressed. It's not being addressed. Um, they're over prescribing meds. Um, it's scary. Just look, I mean, we're all messed up one way or another. I know some people say, well, not you, Danny. We have seven Lamborghinis and I can't drive any of them. That's pretty messed up. Okay, I got to get off this Lamborghini kick. I'm going to get a comment. <laughs> All right. So let's look. Let's look at mental health. I, you know, I am hoping, 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 and I'm, I'll read on this later, that the dysfunction of Congress, just going back, just inflaming people, is going to um, allow us to make some major changes in 2024. Um, I listened to Amy Cook on PBS and she scared me because she said, you know, all the, all the Senate seats that are up, they're gonna be challenging. I'm like, oof, oof. It's a little too early to look at that, but come on, come on, raise up. There we go. Um, but, you know, we do have a, a, a ways to go. I am hoping, and I, I, I really kind of feel it, that um, we are going to take the House and the Senate again. And when we do, Will we be able to address this mental health issue? Will we, because then I see um, insurance for all and I see mental health insurance. Let's see. Is there going to be Mental health help in the near future. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull six cards quickly on this and then I'm gonna go to long-term and let's see six cards real quickly. All right. See, I, I think this is this is the card that that just 
says it all to me. This is the final outcome. This is fighting windmills. This is the guy that's charging ahead. And why is he even fighting these six wands? It's, is, is that something you should fight? No, but they're just going to, it's going to be a fool's journey. Um, clearly, we need it, but um, there's going to be, there's going to be more mass shootings and there is going to be more talk of it, but not with this, not with this Congress. But it's, it's going to, it's, it, it's, it's going to increase the conversation. So let's look after this Congress. Mental health going to be addressed after this Congress. And we seat a new congressional body. Is this going to be addressed when we seat a new congressional body? Is health care going to be addressed? meaningful way. Drop this down, y'all can see. So I only pulled six because it's so far out, right? <clears throat> we have the three of pentacles. And this is somebody who's diligently working on a plan. In other decks, there'd be two other people in the Rider Waite anyway, there'd be two other people with plans, um, letting the, the apprentice, as I call him, um, work on, uh, on these plans. Now, whether these plans are, are changed or not, this guy in this deck, he just knows what needs to be done. And he's working at it. And it's a completion cycle. It's being crossed by the world. And, you know, it's interesting. I was thinking of this circle today, this morning, and it never ends, it never stops. It's always rolling around and it's a rebirth. And so this, this issue is going to be constantly worked on and tweaked. We have at the base of the reading, what all this is simmering in is the balance. Is it mental health balance? Is it the balance of the system? Our system is broke and needs a review. That's in the past as it relates. Yeah, it is broken. And there's going to be a ton, a ton of bickering can't do that, don't have enough. It's interesting. This, well, here's the money that we don't have enough money for it. You know, we, we will make enough money. And then we have the king of wands in the potential near future. We have somebody that's going to come up. And why did I just hear Whitehead, uh, Senator Whitehead, that's going to come up. And even though this isn't the money, but he's, they're going to put forth a plan that will make sense to a lot of people. Because there's some passion going on. And if we keep having these mass shootings that don't make sense to the normal person, why are people just, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some new changes, but I think we're going to have to wait. All right, so let's move on. Um, let's move on. Uh, 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 let me see what I got. Let me see. This is all what I can read on today, but I'm not going to. Um, Nara, let's look at any more documents coming from any more presidents, vice presidents. 
So the National Archives sent letters out to all of the representatives of past presidents, even Herbert Walker Bush. I go, he's dead. Oh, the representatives of, okay. And even Reagan, check your library. Let's look in his plane in Simi Valley. Never went in there. I would like to go see the plane, but yeah, bus, the plane. Are there gonna be any more records found? Quail's got them, wait. Oh, we got notes on them and all the notes are misspelled. That was rude. Why did I, why did I go there? Um, any more documents from these? Hmm. I mean, I would say yes, right off the bat. So, <clears throat> I got the 10 of wands. It's gonna be kind of a burden to go back and look at everything. Where's, where's, there we go. Um, but they're gonna do it. They're gonna put this work on and they're gonna go out and look. It's covered by the strength card. I think something is going to happen with how these documents are, are handled and managed. They're gonna find some more because it's the wild ride. It's like, oh my God, really? You guys took it? We have the star of hope in the background. We have the two of cups up at the top. This two of cups is um, NARA working in partnership with these organizations doing this heavy lifting, this heavy burden. And yeah, the Nava Swords, they're gonna find new documents. And they're old, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's just a big surprise. It's gonna go to knock our hats off. Really? really? What? Why? 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 So hopefully there's gonna be some changes with that. All right, let's look at, um, should I go to stupid news or Trump news? Yeah, I know. It's the same, stupid Trump news. Okay. Um, let's go to stupid news. Carrie Lake or George Santos, which one? It doesn't matter. Carrie Lake is... Uh, is appealing her loss. And here's the stupid news about it. Not that she can't appeal her loss. I mean, it's done, it's over. The Supreme Arizona Supreme Court already looked at it and rejected it. And now she has another appeal somewhere um, in, in the courts that they're still listening to. And they're bringing forth new information. No, this is an appeal. The appeal should be on whether all the procedures were followed correctly. You're not supposed to introduce new evidence or anything like that. But she is, and she's doing, you know, that let's shake things up thing. So I, I have to wonder, I wonder what kind of lawyer she has. Well, let's see. Um, oh, she has a divorce lawyer. <clears throat> and then she has an employment lawyer. Well, those are two specialized fields that... Oh I guess it's better than a parking lot attorney. That's who Trump has. All right. Um, she's going nowhere. So let's, let's move on to the other stupid news. George Santos. So his campaign 
he said he lent his campaign 700,000. And he said, no, I didn't. Don't ask me any more questions about this. God. Okay. And why does he think that sweater looks good? Oh. So preppy. So um, I know he's going. He is just going. But this gets tied into Rona McDaniels, the RNC, who they're, I guess, voting today on who's going to be the new, the new RNC. Let's just look at the RNC. How are they doing? How are they going to do in the next year and a half? What is the RNC? How are they going to manage their elections? And their candidates, whoa, next year and a half. I pulled three cards because as soon as I started throwing, it says, use Andrea's cards. So I got the Joe Biden card. I got the five of pentacles and I got a new emotional start. So how are they gonna deal with this? These two cards are really interesting because I go, oh, is Joe Biden out in the cold with the five of pentacles? No, Joe Biden, oops, Joe Biden in a new cup. So. Joe Biden's the king of cups. So we got a new cup coming in, which is in between all this loss. So I'm not saying Joe Biden's not going to be running or he's not going to be there. I'm saying, am I recording? Yes, good. I'm saying that um, there's going to be a new emotional start. And I think it's tied with Joe Biden. I think they're just... They are out in the cold. They are losing money. You get people, um, Rana, Rona, Rana, what was Gil the Radners uh, or Saturday, night, Saturday Night Live character? Rana, na, 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 Baba, Wawa. Anyway, I can't, I can't remember, but it kind of sounds like Rona and Dana. Donna. Anyway, Daniels got so, got a lot of big donors to put money into Santos campaign or into the RNC. I don't think they're really happy with it. All right, let's look at Andrea's card because she's Canadian, eh? She, Canadians go, yeah. A little more detached than you Americans. Although, I hear you. It's a world. <clears throat> you know, we're not. It, it, it's, it's this trickle down economics, trickle down order that isn't working anymore. So it's not just one nation being able to control everything. It's coming from the community up, and that's what's shifting, and that's what's that's what people are hanging on to. No, and they're just in fear. They're just in lack. And when we let go of the fear and lack, then we get to really see the abundance and feel the abundance. All right, what? is, um, let's just ask that again. How is the RNC going to manage this next cycle that they have coming up all the way up to 2024? How are they going to manage that? Are they going to be successful? I know it's too far out. Ooh, they got an upside, oh, sorry. They got an upside down lightning bolt. 
soon, which is upside down. So not soon. Hmm. Their chakras are all messed up. Yellow card, illumination, dark. Hmm. Unknown. I'm going to drop this down and you all can see where I'm going with this. So we have an, uh, an upside down lightning bolt. So this is kind of like you guys are in, in a crazy storm. I mean, you, you have things coming that are not positive, that are not good. Keep coming at you. It's going to take a while, but they are going to get their alignment correct. And I'm hoping I have that right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. This is, um, okay, okay. I had to stop and look at this because I get all confused about colors. I went back and I looked at the level of consciousness pyramid that I have. This is all about shame and guilt. This is the higher order of things. So they are just dealing with this low energy cycle. They do have some flashes of illumination on how dark they are but they're still, they're still in the moon phase. They're still like, no, or they're not really seeing things clearly. So yeah, this RNC, it, it, it's not going, it's not going so well for them. Okay, one more and then, and then I think we're done. I wanna look at Trumpy, Trumpy Trump. And this FBI guy. Am I recording? Please say yes. Okay. Trumpy guy. Trumpy guy. This FBI agent McConnell, Charles McConnell. And you look at all the. You look at Merrick Garland's plate, what he's got, it feels like every day more crap comes on his plate. And he's going, oh, now I got to blend that into all this because it all blends. It all blends. So this FBI guy, And then the, the Fox News is trying to say, oh yeah, this, this, guy's, this guy was texting Hunter Biden's wife because their daughters played on the same sports team. Oh my God. Fear, that's what they push. Fear and distortion. Okay. Is this McC McC Charles, this FBI guy that got arrested? What's going on with me? Hang on. Okay. My camera was falling. This FBI guy, Charles, McC whatever his name is, Charles M. And the Trump connection. What do we need to know about this Charles M. FBI guy in the Trump connection? We haven't even gotten into Fannie Willis. Linked. No. Justice. Oh. Gift. 
Chakrami, heart chakra, money, healing. It's all about the money. Okay, so I'm going to need some clarification. So they are they are linked. No justice. And I'm using my pyramid spread. So this no card throws me next to the justice card. Is it because um, they were going against justice? They weren't working to have justice, but they were, that the link was to skirt justice. There is a gift and it's money, money. And I think I've read something where uh, the FBI guy's girlfriend, he was married at the time and he had a girlfriend and she goes, yeah, he, I would find like paper bags full of money and big bills wrapped up. He goes, yeah, I was betting on sports. And she saw a bunch of it. To me, I'm like, really? He'd be that sloppy? But I don't know. Um, Trump and the FBI guy. Boom. Happy space. They are connected. I do think that they were skirting justice, but let's let's just throw some extra on this no card. This linked no justice. What does it mean? What does the no card mean? Linked no justice. That one fell out. New journey, fool card, being foolish. No. What does no mean? I can't even believe I'm asking that. What does no mean? No means no, Danny. Okay, I hear you. What it meant, yes. No. I was just going to go down the wrong rabbit hole with that. And the Supreme Court's back in the news. That's, that's where I was going with it. Um, crazy. What? Come on, focus. What does this link? No, justice me. That guy in Trump. It means, uh oh, it means legal stuff coming. And there's going to be some battling back and forth. There's going to be some, you can't do that. You shouldn't do this, that you can't look at it that way. You can't take it legally that way. But they got the tower card. Okay. Should we look at Trumpy, see what he's feeling? So Fanny Willis is saying decisions are imminent on, um, on individuals in the Georgia case. Decisions are imminent. And the judge said, I'm going to look at this. And I'm going to let you know soon, <laughs> imminently. So we got two imminents. <clears throat> we have the judge saying, I may release this, this grand jury document. Danny Willis is saying, if you do that, we need to charge these people before you do that. So kind of both people are under the gun here a little bit. What is Donald Trump thinking? How's he feeling right now? How is he feeling right now? It's Donald Trump. You know, he's his emotions are like all over the place when I when I tap in. He's angry, he's scared. 
he's like, well, let's do this, let's do that. And he's just scattered. Um, I'm not getting any health issues because he's too focused on too many other, you think I have a squirrely brain. That guy's brain is just all over the place. No offense to squirrels, but. Well, my psychic duck can find out. Okay, Trump, what's going on? What's going on with you? Thinking of Fannie Willis. Let's just focus on what are you feeling about this FBI guy? Okay. He's not feeling very good. Yes. He's not feeling very good about this. His direction. Is okay, I got to look at this. I got to see what card I have here. So this is the fuchsia card. It's the crown chakra. Head brain. Trying to find a direction. This is also a woman card. We always say, there's a woman. There's a woman. Should I explain that? And it goes back to protect. And he was charged to protect the United States. And January 6th was not really protecting the United States Constitution. He is guilty. He is losing his direction because of his darkness, yes. And there's other things that are going on too that are just being tied into um, the Durham investigation. You know, the, the Congress is trying to weaponize. They're saying we have to um, um, de-weaponize the government, yet Trump weaponized the government with Bill Barr and was using the Durham investigation and hiding findings from the Durham investigation for entertainment purposes only, I think. I think this is right. I don't know, I may be wrong. <clears throat> Maybe right, but I may be wrong. I like the way that uh, MSNBC is calling out um, Tucker with an F Carlson saying, and that was rude, shouldn't say that. Anyway. Um, by asking these questions that are implying, I'm just asking a question. Well, let me ask you a question. Are you taking us as that stupid? Are you that stupid? I'm just asking because apparently you just may be. You may be. You may be that stupid. I'm not saying you are or not, but you may be. I'm just asking a question. Okay. Um, where am I going? I think I'm leaving. Is anybody still watching? Hello. All right. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Let's pull um, some just for the end for us. Oh, pause. Okay. I'm going to use my Kyle Gray Angels and Ancestors card. And as I grab the deck, what I hear more than ever is get outside. 
Maybe it's because it's so sunny and beautiful out. So get outside, enjoy the day. And as I think back on the, the show that I did with Debbie, some people were saying, well, I can't get outside. It's cold and snowy and I'm not going out there. I'll slip on my butt and fall. Listen to music. All right, let's see what angels and ancestors have to say. If you want a personal reading, you can pick a one through three, or you can use all three. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. <laughs> Yes. All right. So whoever picked one, moon. Am I recording? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, moon card. So we just had this huge, huge new moon. Very powerful. Trust your instincts. Look at things. Um, I know I've been getting so many repeating numbers lately. The last couple months, things that um, I wasn't seeing a lot of synchronicities, maybe because I wasn't feeling well. But recently, a lot of intuitive messages have been coming in, a lot of positive things, a lot of synchronicities. Also, transform and unveil your gifts, whoever picked number two. This community is so powerful. We get to create. We get to be creators of our world, what we want to see. And we do that through unveiling our gifts, through the shapeshifter. We don't have to stay... Um, mirrored, mired, stuck in this mud of 3D existence. We get to shape shift and go outside through the veil to create something amazing. And for those who pick number two, it's really saying, yay. And then for those who pick number three, it goes back to Earth Guardian. Get outside get grounded, get grounded. So all three, we have the moon, we have the cycles, we have the new beginnings, the old beginnings, we have the things that we need to let go of and the things that we need to allow in through shape-shifting, not through this 3D world, but creating a world that is magical and unbelievable. And we can only do that if we ground ourselves, if we get quiet, and if we stay, you know, at my, my shamanic tools that I use, it's always coming back to earth and our senses and being alive in our senses as we shape shift to other realms and other dimensions. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Stay light. Peace and love.